All right, let's get going. We're gonna warm up a little bit. One leg out, reach it out, and let's go. Get the heart rate up. Working in the transverse plane, warming up the core, warming up the arms. 30 seconds here. So we're warming up those quads here. We have less than 20 seconds on this leg. The blood flowing. And less than 10, we're gonna switch sides. And let's switch in three, two, and one. Good, switch sides. Reach it out, 30 seconds, let's go. Warming up the core, blood should be flowing. You're doing great. We're working the quads here, we're working the core, working the shoulders, keeping everything moving. Three, 20 seconds left. And 10 seconds. Next, we're gonna go into some hopscotch. Three, two, and one. And let's go, feet out. In, out, and alternating legs. It's a fun way to get the blood, blood flowing. Working on some coordination, staying up on those toes. Going for a total of 60 seconds here. It's important to always remember to keep those core muscles tight. Even when you think you're not using them, you should be keeping them as tight as you can. And keep the breath going. You're halfway there. Keep it up. Whoa. 20 seconds to go. This is just the warm up. Keep alternating legs, stay up on your toes, work those calf muscles less than 10 seconds. Next, we're gonna go into the dumbbells. So three, two, and one. Both hands down, feet apart, way apart. And we're gonna squat, weight in your heels, lift with the biceps, ready, and go. 60 seconds. Toes should be pointing slightly outward. And like I said before, the more joints that you're moving, the more calories you're burning. It's always better to get the knees in there, get the elbows in there, work the biceps, work the glutes, work the quads. You're doing great. Just keep the movement going, even if you have to slow down. It's okay, don't stop moving. 30 seconds to go. Really getting low, getting into those glute muscles. 20 seconds. <laughs> those biceps should be warm now. 10 seconds to go. We're gonna go back into curtsy squats. Keep it up. And three, two, and one. We can go ahead and put the dumbbells down now. Pick them back up in a few minutes. We're gonna get heart rate back up and knees up. Ready? 60 seconds, go. Baby, come on. Okay, you had a second rest, so let's keep these knees up. Let's keep it going. Get right back into it. Keep the breath flowing. Knees up as high as you can. You're doing great. Push yourself. And we're halfway there, 30 seconds. You wanna really stay up on your toes here. Baby, come on. 20 seconds to go. Make sure you're breathing in 10. Three, two, and one. 
turn to the side, hands overhead, and let's alternate legs. Ready? 60 seconds. Make sure you're pacing yourself. Don't let the front knee pass your toe. It's really important to keep that kneecap protected. Again, core tight. And make sure your dumbbells aren't falling forward here. You want to keep them right over your head, arms by your ears. Working more than one joint group here. Getting the blood flowing all the way through the body. And we have 30 seconds to go. You're doing great. Keep alternating. Keep the energy up. Core nice and tight. And we have less than 20 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go. Next move, uppercut, so we're coming here. Alternating legs, getting the biceps engaged, keeping your whole body moving. 60 seconds here. Keep the biceps engaged. You can bring it out to the front if you want. Get the shoulders back in. Bring it around, hook punch. 30 seconds. 60 seconds here. We're working the shoulders here, we're working the coordination, we're working the heart rate, getting the blood flowing. And stay low on that standing leg. The lower you are, the better. If you can get lower, if you're more advanced, keep it low. 30 seconds left. Good, shoulders should be burning. 20 seconds. Get the toe way out. Weight in your standing heel. All right, less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, now we're switching over to our back. We're gonna do some dumbbell overhead crunches. So we're just gonna use this one weight. Take it with two hands. Go ahead and lean back. Keep your feet nice and flat, arms overhead. Pull it up and crunch. 60 seconds, go. So you're inhaling on the way back and exhaling on the way up. Again, pace yourself here. We have 60 seconds total. Really engaging the core the entire time. So when your arms are going backwards, you're trying to keep that back nice and flat to the mat. less than 30 seconds to go. You're doing great, guys. Keep, the, keep all the vertebrae down flat to the mat. It's creating tension in your core the entire time. Try to really get their shoulder blades up and off. We have less than 10 seconds. Next, we're going into scissor kicks. Three, two, and one. All right. Good, one weight in each hand. Straight into it, 60 seconds here. We're gonna work the top of those delts, ready? And march. Knees way up, get the hip flexors in there. Seems easy at first. Give it 60 seconds to get that burn really far into those muscles here. We've hit every side of the delt, done the lateral. Now we're doing the top. Let's keep it up. A nice sweat should be going by now. We're halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Don't stop now. In 
and 20 seconds. Knees up high. Keep getting those weights up as high as you can. You're doing great. Next, we're going, to, going into triceps. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, turn to the side. Make sure you're breathing here still. Get down low. We're gonna work the biceps and the triceps here. So pull up here and reach it back, 60 seconds. Go. It's important to keep the elbows nice and steady. Keep them in place. You take it nice and slow here. No need to make the motion fast. And again, keep all the weight in your heels. Don't ever let your knees pass your toes. It's potential to injure your kneecaps over here. So we want to protect that. 30 seconds to go. Keep it steady. Triceps should be warming up. 20 seconds. Engage the biceps on the way up too. Don't leave them out. And 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Let's come on down. We're gonna sit down, cool down, and cross right leg over left. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. It's turning here, stretching out the back, releasing, slowing down that breath. Sit up nice and straight. Good, and switch sides. Left leg right over right. Hook that elbow and twist. Breath should be slowing down. Good and release. Let's take a few breaths. Breathe in. And exhale out. One more time, breathe in. And exhale out. Great job, guys. Thanks for joining me.